Welcome to the Dirty Third Network. This is the one-on-one episode. Mickey and Mike D, your boss, your host, with the most. Right now, backed by popular demand, Mr. Cedric Sosa, a.k.a. ESG, the everyday street gangster. Here, yeah, get ready. It's going down tonight, baby. Ain't that right, mama? Where you at? what it is you know what it ain't man it's the one-on-one with Mickey and mike d man Dying on the now. dirty third network right now backed by popular demand my Whoa. brother from another mother man ed day street gangster says he's so sad today is sunday man i'm every day say regard I, I wanted to wonder uh what does esg mean on sundays every day say regard okay all right hey, tonight i'm eating something good <laughs> <laughs> Every day I'm an entrepreneur spitting game. You feel me? That's real. Which is on Thursday? I'm in Waldo Sosa Gonzalez. <laughs> I'm in for Matt Moore's and I go. Hey, why you say, Bobby, shout out Pee Wee, shout out Ice, shout out Smooth. You, you come to their house on, like, this one I knew. It's, it's, a, it's you know, like, I feel like I was in tier one. <laughs> you come on Friday night at 6 o'clock. The boy got, like, Paddy's Paddy's a beer. I don't really drink beer. All kind of you can't leave till Monday. <laughs> Tapped out the first night. It felt like 12 roaches was probably my probably out my body. <laughs> what the frick? Yeah, what I you mean, you ain't I, roaches crowded. I just feel like I say the roach run by the floor because I had to, I had to tap out. I wouldn't sit on the couch. I said, my cup, I said, my two, three roaches run by, man. Oh, Not, man. Once you see it. They all on you. That, on that is true. He, he told me the story about the mushrooms. Cause I had never took mushrooms, you know what I'm saying? Like, t- you know, I hate to be sound like this, God forgive me, but mushrooms used in the hood to us sound like a Caucasian drug. <laughs> <laughs> so this white dude took, this white dude gave him a whole bunch of mushrooms. He had never had them before. And, and the white dude just walked into the room and say, do all on fire. And that, he, he thought they was really on fire. You know what I'm saying? So the white boy drove him the whole weekend. So with La Boost, let me get this straight. My squad and my team and my family had okay. nothing to do with me going to the hospital. You feel okay. me? So I just want to say that, you know, make you know, make that clear. You know what I'm saying? Where the hospital come from? Because, because, line hate, you know what I'm saying? We're like, oh uh, man, uh, you know, they told somebody, some like, man, yeah, that's cause, you know, it happened from being over there with them, with them. Like, you know, look for something to hate. This can't f- So you went to the hospital the night that y'all had drunk all them beers? No, 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 no. Oh yeah, like, it's from the studio. Oh, the gotcha, I, gotcha. I, 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 I seen blood in my stool. Okay. And, you know, anytime you see blood in your stool, and what it was, the tumor that they couldn't cut out was pressing against my, my kidney and my bladder. You feel me? And it was tearing down a wall that they had built. So, uh, uh, people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know. So, I'm the type of like this. I always go to the doctor. You feel me? Like any kind of pain I used to have, I take my. I want. I want the typical. You know what I'm saying? That would never go to the doctor. So that what that's what happened. And it was perfect that it happened because now I get to take my last few treatments. Then I can get my leg. You feel? Yeah. I'm gonna give me a uh uh go get you a robotic ter- leg. robotic terminator you leg. Well, you gonna be one of the mother- I already know you you gonna have some six I million dollar I, man. I, I, I can kick it <laughs> over here and kick him. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, I can hide a brick in that little <laughs> AR <laughs> Coming straight from the hood, leg man. <laughs> Have you ever, he can save you, singer. You know, then I still got, you know, they gave him Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I could be, you know, Lamar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I swear to God. <laughs> when Charleston White, you know, Charleston White had cracked the joke. Like, the boy ESG lost his leg and laid. Okay. He had a show in my hometown. And when he was finna show up, they were gonna kidnap her, and I was gonna do the Lamar and throw this. Shit. And my manager, Rocky, shout out Rocky. I love you, Rocky, Veronica, David. Rocky say, E, stay away from that man. man you know, leave people, leave. I, you know, they, it was the fresh and new. You ain't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Lil Woody. Lil, 
the what is it blew up off the city, dude. <laughs> man a three more cars see the, the thing is this they, they want to say but if you're scared of you know you you, you know you can't say that you feel me ain't nothing you can do about, ain't you can do about it anyway we're going to some nonsense let's go man we in here man hey since we on comedy we might as well go there they say you and ro uh who I, I'm, they be saying like uh, you and Ro got some great Mike D impressions. Oh yeah, man. I, so we gonna do. I want you to do yours, and then when Ro come on, I'm have him do his, and I want to see who do the best Mike D impression, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie, boy. <laughs> Diddy's supposed to find them. See, boy, I'm so funny. See, to me, see Mike D version of fine is pretty. You know, I'm a country. Right. I'm, I'm from right by Mississippi. You know? Talk like this right by me. Goddamn cool. But that boy will out that pick the people, boy. I'm from the country part. I ain't from the water side. I'm from the slave side. The deacons of defense is where my hometown is from. Bogalusa, Louisiana. The deacons of defense, who was the first people that stood up and fought the claim. Damn. Two years ago, they blew up, set the dude's house on fire. Damn, damn it, uh, 40, 50 years ago. They still were trying to get their payback. You feel what I'm saying? I'm from, you know, I do everything. You got to fight. Racism where I'm from, they used to throw our letters, D1 letters, they used to throw them in the trash can. They ain't want us to go to no D1 school. The white folks? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 your sh trash can. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's crazy. My, when I went to North Carolina on a visit, what, what, I didn't even know they were going to give me a scholarship, a football scholarship. We had practice. It was a white guy named Willie Hunt. He was so fast. He was white, but was a you know what I'm talking about? He was an option fast, fast, and I hit him and I sprung his neck. His daddy ran on the field to try to fight me, you know. And so they benched me the first three games, and I'm a super, I'm a, I'm a superstar, you know. I came behind the safety that that, that went right to LSU. There was my oh, time. No, you broke his leg. No, no, I hit him real hard and I sprained his neck, so he was out for the season. But mm. that was our starting quarterback. I ain't try, I ain't try to hit him that hard. You feel what I'm saying? In practice. In practice. Daddy ran on the field to try to squall me. So the, the coach bent me for three games. The third game when I came in, I said, man, take it for me. I, I, I threw the equipment down. They come get me out of, out of class uh, the next week. And, and, and my uncle and everybody was on the phone talking about, man, don't back, uh, you know, bite the bullet. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, man, yeah, I went in. You know, I was a superstar in basketball, too. I couldn't play baseball, though. I was trash. You were trash in that baseball? My most embarrassing moment was baseball. Man. And guess what happened? What happened, bro? We in Little League in the hood. It's jam-packed. Playoff in the hood. Everybody there. I'm playing left field. I hit that so high. When I caught that hole, I look down. All I see my mama with some shorts like Miss Megan away running on the field. <laughs> <laughs> with some Dayton Dukes with Kevin Tuck. That's my baby. That's my baby. I was mad at the Right. You missed it. Uh, no, I count the. Oh, she, she ran, ran out there celebrating oh, with the days of Duke's home. Oh, man. I was like, man. She had the Megan. Uh, yeah, she had Miss Megan Show Show. Miss Megan Show Show. Hey, boy. Yeah, you, know, you know, that quarter pound. <laughs> That's what Miss Megan. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't run her. Yeah, man, my mama had the days of Duke's home. I was like, man. My mama crazy. Bro, what did you start? When did you start comedy? Cause you obviously ever since I know you've been a damn fool. So you always you always been the, like the class clown. Yeah, How did yeah. you start this comedy hey, hey, route? By the time I was in sixth, seventh grade, I hated what I called the bus. They did not. They was like, F cause I'm finna rank on everybody now. But but um, my wife cousin named Keisha, Lakeisha, I used to be ranking on it cause she'll say chicken fillet. This shit like that, you know. I'm going to chicken fillet. I'm like, yeah, that's good. So she got mad. She say, yeah, you talking all shit. Go to the comedy club and get on that stage. I pulled up to that. Just got butterflies. I took off. I was scared to go. I called, I called, um, uh, Ali Sadiq. You know, I was like, hey, man, you know, I want, you know, he said, man, go over here to this spot and see. Man, I went there. Man, I told that bitch down. I, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it was crazy. They started making me go last everywhere. You feel me? I'm talking about everybody there. Yeah, all the underground comedy shows. Yeah, all the open open mics or the or the comedy nights in H Town. Okay. They start making me go last. That's how good I was, and I didn't even know. So a told me a comedian. He said, "Say, bro, they not with you no more." He said, "Cause you too good already. They want you to go through a 20 year struggle like they did. My 20 year struggle was on the chicken circuit, just was in music. You feel me? So I had 
I, I almost cried this time. They booked me in San Antonio. I get there. My name is the only name on there. You know, and the, and the guy who hosts it. That bitch sold out. Like every race of that. They got big, big, big uh, uh, Dave Chappelle posting everything on. I went off of that. You know, they, oh, I'm telling you, all, all these ladies, everybody run up, man, you funny than T.I. I said, yeah, I ain't say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no bullshit. I took my medication tonight. That's why I'm feeling good. You feeling good, baby? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Well, since you feeling good, won't you get, won't you run us down there, man? And uh, want to know the best show ESG than been on, like, Ooh. like, oh, tour of life. What, what is Me? tour of life like? All right. The first one, my biggest show, you know, me, Screw, Notorious V, Mirror J. Blige, Tolo, everybody. Oh. It, it was the next time, right? I had never performed that many people. You feel me? It was like 10,000 10, people now. Man, it was, it was swinging the bank and came on. One Them people went bananas, so they called 979 the box that, that Monday morning. Who was the best performer? Be bigger by 3%. What? Yeah, everybody calling me. What hey, year? They, they what, me. what this, year was this? Ninety ninety five. Damn. Ninety five. And that was where the box of Belusa? No, the um box birthday bash. That's yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? They just had that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Head up. You feel what I'm saying? After that, I'm saying some of the bigger ones. Um the rodeo. Oh no. With, with Bond bro. That's see, big. every DJ was hitting me. Damn man, they got everybody except you. You know, baby, you know, Julia, they, they, you know, they called me the last few days right for it. So Ooh. we go, we go to rehearsal. It was some women in there from uh, BET. They say, everybody doing a rehearsal. You know, it's natural. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get on the stage. I'll get was one person or one million. I'm going to tell you that. The lady say, man, who, who, is, who are you? I said, me and They say, oh, you, you good. You good. Everybody real said that. Looking, yeah, for real. So I told Bun, I said, all right, these my five songs. Bun said, nope. Everybody doing one song. Damn. Maybe two. I said, huh? For real? I said, I can't freestyle that and do one of my songs? He was like, no. So I thought he was lying. You feel me? Because I was like, now if Flip get this up in rap by 12 songs, I'm going to go up in and talk. <laughs> and you, you, you better have Kiki doing all these songs and everybody. It was live. It was really like one song. Bam, back to back. Slim hit a song. Bam, pow, wow, bam. Me, pow, Flip, bam, pow, Kiki. Man, that was off the chain. I'm talking about seven, eight thousand people now. That bitch was off the chain, chain, chain. Man, so what song did you do? What? <laughs> Swagging and bragging. I figured that. Oh. Why not? I'm just saying, because it's like you ESG. You know, I'm from the boot. You feel me? Shout out Nikki Schultz. That say, this 94, you know, 93. Uh, I'm, I'm going, going, going to college. We're going to college. Get that. Say, say, man, hey, hey, hey. Ain't nobody ever made no song just talking about the slab. You know, the, the rims, the paint, everything. I do that. Boom. The producer, Sean Solo, didn't even like the beat. Didn't like the song. Yeah, she did that. Anyway, screw put that on the screw tape. I didn't even know. It was a cap. All yeah. I hear, every, every, every car passed me by. Swoop the swing and then bang it. I'm goosebumps out late. I'm like, what? The next thing you know, it's all on the radio. It's going down. I'm all in California, Mike Moses studio with Mac Ma and them. I don't even know nobody. I'm just a young man chasing my dream. That's the first time I ever smoked chronic. I said, man, I want some chronic. The said, like, give me $100. I gave him $100. I'm thinking he's going to come back with a big sag of weed. That came back with five liberty ass bags. Yeah. I said, man, that's right. By the time we got to the third one, Big Fizzy, he fainted and passed out. I was so high. I said, I don't want this. I don't want to cry. He said, that's that's, that's, I said, no, let's get Dr. Dre rapping the back. He said, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I was so mad. I, I put that shit in my shoe and brought it back. <laughs> you know, I brought it back. I had to let all my taste that. R.P. Todd Prophet. He the one that first made me start smoking uh, gas. You yeah. know, Todd was a bad one. Uh, and I used to be trying to make him smoke that top flight with me. That would be like, he just said bullshit. I was I was like, damn, this is way good. He said, that's that bullshit. After a month smoking that with him, Man, you can't go back. You don't you know, want people, nothing else. You don't want nothing else. Not no Reggie. Not sure. no Reggie. Yeah. Little JB. I was now JB. Uh -huh. JB, <laughs> JB wanted to beat me up. He on the road with us. I, I said, man, what the hell? What, what are you doing? He said, man, I be breaking down the sticks and everything. I said, man, you ain't gonna put no more sticks in the blood. He that man. He said, everybody ain't got money. <laughs>
My mom used to be like, come over here and smoke one, let me smoke one of your kind. Yeah. <laughs> my mom gonna have my, my mom probably got a pound of ridge on her bed right now. She gonna smoke all motherfuckers, like, she gonna pop pills, she do, right. my mama got about 12 and all medications. Come on, man. And, and, and one day she called me, she's like, boy, you know I don't even got what I thought I had. <laughs> she had walked right there, but she, she got, I forgot what it was, about two bad diseases or something like you know what I'm saying that her she ain't got to land one of them up, just claiming something man. yeah yeah my mom a gangster so. that's cool I should have took the man what the deal was in this what the <laughs> <laughs> no that's the thing <laughs> I thought oh man it's like, it's like long. I thought you're trying to pull some uh <laughs> <laughs> man but hey, it, that did comedy it, really hey, your lame bro. did it did it really was trying to get to the dressing room what the, the night when Vicky show when I killed the show, did it really try to get back? We went to New York, nigga. Did it was one of the things we went to. Hold on, like, Puffy. We talking about Puffy. Man, oh, you Puffy. gotta give us the Puffy story. Uh, man, man. I, hey man, I'm uh, I'm just happy I ain't at the time. I like Puffy. I love Puffy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I I, I I you you watch American Me? I'm a, I'm a murder something. <laughs> I'm a murder, murder, murder so, so how was the the P Diddy situation? Man, he was really and my OG the got big bread. Them people like a, you know, they really like handling. You know what I'm saying? But one the who worked for us, right? A, a period on name Mel Smith. Mel Smith got a job at Bad Boy. Right after that, you so he was trying name? to meet you. Yeah, you're trying to sign it. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. Look, ain't nobody else. Ah, I don't like him. Black Rob. Uh, it, it, oh, everybody everybody like, had left by this time. No, no, I'm just saying all of them did not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, did it. No, did it. No, did it. No, did it. Like I'm in LA. I'm at Warner Brothers. Uh -huh. The man finna give me and Slim a $23 million deal. Who? Warner Brothers. The first time I went to Roscoe's Chicken, we was monsters. I'm talking about, I sold 27000 CDs in one month in yeah. the month, yeah. in one city, Houston. Rest in peace. I was twenty-four. To the greatest guy that let us do some things of that ma nature, man. Mm -hmm. Robert Gillum, man. Yeah, man. R.P. Robert Gillum, man. Robert was a great dude. Man. You say twenty-seven thousand in one month, man. We did like thirty. You uh, know what I mean? Poker did. I said something. a week. Oh, my bad, because, you know. No, nah, we did that. The, the swing of the bang. The that was session. too. It had to be on. I know y'all did what. How many did y'all do before y'all got the deal? Independent. I, I didn't get to enjoy the deal. I was in jail. I did over 100,000. You feel me? In my own lane. Just straight, just me. I remember when I first time, me and Fat Pat, we had Christmas party. They were like, hey, this from Louisiana with these glasses and hardly, excuse me, hardly. I'm out there, everybody rapping, rapping. Y'all rapping about every slab, every tennis shoe I've done. And it, 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 it been on ever since then. You see me? Man, bro, yeah. that just hurt my heart saying, because I'm knowing, but before you get the deal, you sell 100,000 CDs. Yeah, you better tell them people nigga. what that money look like. Man, the judge gave me three weeks to do the album. That's how I said the South had a couple of the same songs. I had three weeks to do that whole album. I remember coming to the video shoot. When you, you was in jail for the video shoot? What, Swain Bain? He, he was out, right? Bro, the, we, the, 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 the judge let me do the video before I went to jail. That my first that's why I was such they, a that my first melange <laughs> toi. Hey, you saw the video? So I'm trying to get to it in the jag. It was like I think Big Metro threw the black party for Yeah, yeah, that's what I was Bro, saying. Tell us about this. this. That's a that was the biggest video had to be on the South Side of Houston, man. Next to Kiki when he did South Side, bro. Right. Uh -huh. But this was the first one, man. It's right. how y'all did that, bro. Man, uh, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. That was that was a lies ass day. You feel what I'm saying? I swear. I'm talking about when I say lies, my all day long, me screw all of us, my. You know, that was the day I was like, I can't do no drugs, cause you know you with screw too early in the day. <laughs> you gonna be dead by six. You ain't gonna be dead. You just gonna be looking like you dead. I know it. Looks Stand there like Hollywood from uh, Treasure Jury. Hollywood get high. He just this still in the studio the other day for forty eight. I was straight. Just standing there. I say, same spot. Same spot. Forty-eight hours. I Stop said, say, it. bro. I said, hey man, give me, give me that, give me that payment, payment suite right there. And he just looked at me. He put his shades on, just text. 
chicks were almost 48. I was like, man, explain these people this video scene, man. The scene for this video. What was your POV when you, uh, when you uh, of swaying and banging? banging? Yeah. I didn't know the was gonna, the two was gonna go for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had a, I think last night, yeah. Friday, I jumped school tape. Oh, but that whole, that's when I seen the love that the city had for me that I didn't know. You feel me? Because when you were, you know, when you trapped into the streets on a certain thing, certain, like really in the streets and do you can't really trust people. Then that was right after the murder. The murder. Oh. So everybody that was trying to show me love, I thought, you know, like, man, here, G, I f you. That was, was big was, when you, you did that, no diddy, man. Yeah, man. That that was shame, man. Hey, man, that was hard as my nigga. And then my oh. dumb, my dumb had to go to jail two and a half years. Oh, you see man. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a bitter, yeah, bitter yeah. sweet moment. But baby, God saved my life. He probably did, bro. Every time, a lot of time when I was in jail, somebody died. A lot of times, a lot of times. I mean, you, know, you could be in the county or something. Like, but the worst news I ever got from being in the county when my, my wife, I called her, and you know, she said, the nose was on the breathing machine. That was my mother. Rest in peace. When I tell you, when I tell you I, that was my dog now. And I had, you know what I'm saying, looking at his two beautiful daughters, man, that the, the, he used to do all the little honey packs and everything, trying to get him some kids. My soon you got them two kids like that. Shout out to the whole, my whole FU2 squad over there, but goddamn, you know. Super shout out to the uh, boys, man. Hold your head up, It's man. crazy. R.I.P. B. King, that came out of nowhere. You know, Rich Homie Kwan, R.I.P. That's, you know what I'm saying? that's another one, man. That's crazy, man. You feel? Being a n that ain't scared to live in this truth, when you hear things like that happen to Rich Homie Kwan, does it does It don't it bother me, because I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, see, this was, I don't take the kind of shit to take. I don't just walk around looking for no over yours and you know what they put in a certain thing. Certain shit. You can't give me no dope if you ain't did it. And the only drugs I ever did, smoke water before, da, 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 da. weed, and, and, and snorted, and uh, pills. Right. So I, 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 my pill, I didn't like ecstasy. You feel me? Because I hated to come down. So after that, when everybody started popping narcos, I went on about an eight month narco run. Then I met the Molly. <laughs> The Molly was the you best. You met Molly? Man, Molly was the best oh in the world. Oh my God. You just crush it up, put it in that little top pocket, and then leave my pocket, just do this. I f my wife so hard at the time. <laughs> she, she, she say, she say, what you want? I say, nothing. You, like, you want something? You want something, because you don't f that good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, I, I ain't in all that. My, my little cousin called me talking about, he argued with the girl talking about, yeah, the f I'm talking about. Uh, she got a vibrator. I, he told me, he said, man, no vibrator with me. I said, cool. Let's see your time, boy. That, that, that place going to go seven days. You know what I'm saying? You out of there. You out of there. You out of there, man. Yeah. When you came home from uh, that, that little ski and beard, man, uh -huh. uh, Lil James at Rap -A -Lot Records was trying to sign you, as many were other people when you right. had the Black Hearted going on uh -huh. in the solo house one day, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and Mr. Three Two was there. I I pulled up. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think who else was there. Man, Can you tell us about man, why? Look, this, man, look, was Lil James at your studio look, station man. that day? They had brought me up 600 beans to to, to um my my baby my wife mama house. I look out there. Uh, it was Big Chief. She said, "Man, hey, they say this for you." I said, "Who name is gonna be in? You say it's gonna be the country last now over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, uh." They brought a tour bus to Solo House. I had a show, you know, in, in like Lafayette or Lake Charles or something like that. They brought a real live tour bus to say, this is the way you go to travel in style to your shows. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so you know what I'm saying? You you young and you already they got fed over by these other, so you don't really understand the business. So bam, when they be saying about, kind of trying to say the stuff about the extortion, about the extortion, uh, 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 uh what's wrong? It's on fire or something? With the thigh. All right, this cool. We're on the road. Look, when they when they when they was talking about a uh, screw being extorted, nah, this what this what happened. Nah, you don't screw on rap a lot. I mean, three two on rap a lot. He was telling KK, the J say, if you give me just like 10, 15, 20, whatever, I can I can do the project with you. But the whole time, the J never said that. You feel what I'm saying? But what project though? He was finna be just like how Southside Player was. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? He was telling, you know, like D.A. D.A. Right. So, um, oh, I'm kind of like a I need to sit here. So, um, 
that nigga, that nigga three, he had just had that. Remember he three had that black with the swangles? Right. A booty yeah. baby, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? All that. He, he, yeah, right. he had just had all that. And man, just sitting there. And then like, man, f them niggas. This nigga be eighty thousand dollars. I ain't f them niggas out of that. And I swear to God, the hip hop gods must have whispered into Jay ear wherever he was and said, three two talking about you. Cause all of a sudden, a black impala and another car just moved up to the studio. Why three two had just said that a few minutes ago? Oh, so they didn't bring three two to. No, he was already there. I wonder how he got there. Okay, yeah, so, so look, co continue. Jay coming in. That he had he had a about this like he about twelve feet tall. Easy. So so his pistol was showing. He say, three two. What's all this stuff I've been hearing you talk about? You know, running my name back in the streets and this and that, saying I don't pay and all. So three like man, Jay ain't never said nothing like that. He's like, I ain't never talked about you. So, you know, he's like, y'all ain't never heard them talk about me. I was just read the man out. So I'm like, yeah, I ain't never heard him say nothing. He say, what's your boy name in third world who be sure he got all the drinking and everything. <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking like, my name came up. You know, someone like, like I was like, huh? He said, he got a binge. He be remembering. I said, oh, my D. He said, yeah, can one of y'all get him on the line? You don't know what's going on, Mike. At all. This shit is so fucking funny. Soon as Mike D walk in the door, the J say, three two tried to say, three two was trying to, you know, intervene quick and say like, hey Mike, have you? Jay, chill out. What, what, what three say? Oh man, that you don't pay him, man. You know what I mean? You I, just I don't feel, three no feel, one. Look, they, I they feel put like you I was on stage. stage. Man, that three two, that three two bagged up in the corner. Then the J say, them big old. Say, come on, take a ride with it. He was like, no, I'm good. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go. Yeah, that shit crazy. Cause it was man. like it was when I walked in, <laughs> it was two big guys walked me in, right? And they were replaced by two bigger. It was so funny. You didn't know what was going on. I didn't on. know. When you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of. I know a lot of with certain labels. Like you see that the contract say, I'm gonna give you fifty bands, and I'm gonna recoup my money, and I got six, five, six options of this. You see that, but you just want that fifty, so you ain't paying attention to all the other. Shit. The Chinese so them word. Take, them so Chinese man, word. Man, gives man, them money. Them take that fifty, that fifty gone. Not a CEO. You know what I'm saying? That's how I have a lot of time. Cause count pockets. You feel me? Like 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 like. If he's the CEO, and he gonna buy him a Bentley. You know what I'm saying? Get you some little something. You mad? You can't be mad. Well, that's how the game go. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a boss somewhere. You feel me? Gotcha. I don't give a who you are. Everybody got a boss. I say they don't. You know, I've been with plenty of nice. You know when I found out who my boss was? Talk to Besides God. My partner kind of like, man, we're going to strip club. I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm going. And I, my wife's like, you going well? <laughs> Everybody got a boss. Everybody got a boss. You know what I'm and, saying? And speaking of bosses, man, man. You was the first person to go, you know, of course you rap in Louisiana, but you the South Side, man. For sure. Bro, you went across that wilder, man, and you grabbed that thugger, man. Like, how did that start? What made you go across the water and want to mess with Slim Thug? Because when I was in the Hadway House, okay. it was uh, like, hey, man, they got a group that be sounding like y'all, like Switch Out now. Uh, 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 I mean, like, as you see, they say that he said they call Switch Out. I said, let me hear, let me hear. So they're playing, you know, da, 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 da. Slim just stood out. You feel me? I'm, you know, I'm sounds like Quincy Jones. I know da, yeah, da, da, how to put it together. With that so bitch. I put him on a uh, brazen face. That bitch did so good. I'm like, man, good. you know, I'm just trying to bring peace to the city. One of the north side, you know, that right. north and south side beat was going on. And after that, we did get your hands up. You know, I never forget. Then then straight private. You know, we was at their studio picking beats, and uh, get your hands up beat came on. He say, uh, uh, Sean Blake, like, you like that beat? I'm like, yeah. He said, man, everybody hate that beat. Beat was a hit. You know what I'm talking Come about? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, straight hit, you know? Hey, that was, man. I'm talking about y'all did good. Y'all had a run, man. But my thing is, man, what happened, bro? Why I mean, you know, you I know. mean, what's your version of what happened? My version is this. What the hell? Why y'all ain't got million? 23 million, you say? Yeah, Come man. On, you got to talk about the, this. The reason we didn't get the deal, because it was the, the nigga that worked for the label was trying to broken the deal really so once the bosses of the label seen it mm -hmm. you know he, his intentions must have been you know over 
And they, you know what I'm saying, they just shot the deal down. They, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck. So bam, bam, you go back this way. Now, you know, make, make, you know, we talked to Dame Red. I talked to Dame Red and before. Tom Capone, Sylvia, uh, Sylvia Rome. I will let my shit in there, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, Y'all shopping, the, y'all shopping yeah, the project. Yeah, yeah, no, no. This this just after that with Slim, this was people that was reaching out to me. After he hadn't got the deal, you know, he was doing this thing. Like, if I knew what I knew now, I would have been talking with my mother. Because it was this chick, this lady, and we sitting there, and, and, and then uh, she was wrong, and I'm saying, well, we're getting $500,000 right now. You feel me? She was like, oh, no. Oh, no. He worth way more than that. If I knew what I knew now, I'd say, no, nah, give me that 500 you going to sit your way. But I'm so loyal. She brought me there. You feel me? So I just, you know what I'm saying? I just kept it real, say loyal. But that's why I'm still here. Because had I got that in, you, you don't do what the made to say. They would have just drug your way. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of motherfuckers that, you know, think you got it made. You know That's why I love my, my, have my own freedom all this time. Drop when I want to drop. You feel what I'm talking about? Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. You know, yeah. we did, we learned it from the real way. We went to every, that's why we got a club following. I really went to the graduation when they booked me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I really, you know what I'm saying? I, we grew with these people. We shook their hands. We gave them posters. We signed their shit. It's not like the internet, you know, like, they become a fan of your music, but they don't love you like they love us because we interact with them. We you see what I'm saying? We was in the mud with them. We was in the mud with them, yeah. Y'all easily had the, the a, a man to be the next. Man. Ball and MJG. Say, bro. man. That was, say, man. It's a, it's a, it's a, bro, I, I, I hate to say it, but it's people that was close to us and everybody was scared of us. Of course. And, but, but I wasn't looking at it like that. It was just, you know, I don't yeah, we all about us. Uh, you know, y'all on the song, but everybody was scared, scared of what they kept saying this. Like, they think y'all y'all gonna be, you know, bigger than UGK, da 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 Easy. So you gotta think about this now. Okay, you a young boss, but this is you. Just do all the hooks, picking at this, picking that, picking that. So when conversations in public, be like, man, he be doing that, it diminishes, you know what I'm saying? It's, with his pride, or another person's pride. You feel me? That's like, say, say, say you and Ro, you know, uh, uh, to the hallway, go triple platinum. And, and, and everywhere you go, everywhere you go, they're like, man, that boy Ro put that shit together. Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it could, you know, you could that's how I looked it. at it. Like, because the whole time we first got together, his brother, so I'd be like, say to my, my producer, uh, man, show me how you do it. I want to know how to do everything. You know, like, so, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, I, I, I ain't got no love for him. You feel me? Because the whole, you live and you learn. The whole thing was that, oh, they couldn't, he had to separate himself because you was taking cheaper shows. Which, which, I, can't, which I can't like him. You know, I, 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 you know, I had a real mortgage at the time. You feel what I'm saying? So See, he, they, had, he, he had, had that money at that time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, he didn't need that money at that time. Yeah, he needed. But when we, nah, when we first, when we first uh, uh, was shopping, like, he was up and coming artist. You okay, see what I'm saying? Okay, with Rick Shop, you know what I'm saying? Like he pulled up a Rick Shop with an old rag rig, that one with a big belt buckle and the overalls on. You feel me? So it, how it, was it, he it, able to hold that, but you wasn't able to hold that? This, 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 cause I had bills. Okay. You feel me? Like, like my he had them kind of bills at the time. So, so, so. I had been on the circuit. So, 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 that's how they do issue C. Just cause they know us, man, nigga, I done did show for seven years straight. Say something like, what's up, baby? Da, da, da. You, you, I need you, baby. It's my birthday again. Da, da, da. And you try to hold out, hold out, hold out. And you know what I'm saying? I had to come up with thirty-five to sixty-five hundred dollars a month for twenty-five, twenty-three years. Yeah. That was my bills. You feel me? If I got thirty-five, if I spend thirty-five hundred, oh, just, just scraping sixty-five hundred, everything paid. So just think, yeah, I got to do. I did it for twenty-three years straight. You feel me? So that adds up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So like. It was other people, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, it, it's all good, you know? You had but to they do know you us. Had to do, the the yeah. promoters know you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's like me telling Bobby Kanye, they oh, nigga, I want I'm this. I'm going to do that for my boy. You feel me? So we just were so well known with that. So I can't, like, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, say yeah. what they want to say. It was all a, a person want their own. That's all it was. And, and, and what, what the smart thing about it is, you still had your own. You do your solo, we do the group. Nigga, Steve ripping money, nipping. Yeah, just how Wu Tang cash money, they got cash money all that money. Right. They're kind of backing and all that, like Lil Wayne and all that. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't never had no real budget or none of that. I ain't right. never had none of that. 
You know what I'm saying? I used to I'm go trapping down, go pay for my own studio time. I got to pay, you know, uh, I'm a mix, mix the master. Now I got me a team. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't want to see me with a team. What stops the newer artists today? Or what lessons should they learn out of that? For the for them in the future, like pacing yourself in this rap game, like. you must you must love the game. You must love the arts before you try to worry about money. If you love the art, you're gonna be so creative that they can't stop you. Now, if you come in the game, and you just worry about money or rap because the other got something going on. You gonna be a slave to that dollar in a certain kind of way. Your creativity is not up to par like this. You feel me? Like, I, just like, it's like LeBron or Kobe with me. I'm a train. You know what I'm saying? Try all kinds of different styles and everything. I'm a train, train, train. So a lot of times the artists just, you know, like they might hear what's popping on the radio. There might be a group from Atlanta. So now the next thing you know, they rapping like the dude from Atlanta. You feel me? Or they doing that where you have to have, you know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah. It got to be in you. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's why a lot of, and a lot of young artists, they feel like they so entitled so fast. You feel me? Don't go down the road, that certain road you learn and understand a certain part of business. Like when people be hearing about uh like publishing and you don't know the business. That's why a lot of times I I, I wouldn't fuck artists. You feel me? Cause this little they talking to you. Cause you're gonna cause you gonna be running around here bad, not understanding the business and be thinking like, man, don't tell you who don't know the game. Man, they play those song on the radio five times, that owe you five thousand dollars. You don't be the only business. You feel what I'm saying? Don't know it at yeah, all. Not at all. So the independent they, they, game, we got eight dollars a CD, five dollars, four dollars a CD. Now the streaming and all that is broke down totally different. You feel me? So you must find multiple ways to uh, monetize yourself when you're in the entertainment. You feel me? You, know, you, you merch if you act, but you know, act everything. Da 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 da. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it is because the game is so saturated and people mind uh, uh, attention span is so sh short. You must make them fall in love with your art. You feel me? Or fall in love with you as a person. Like that's why some people are successful. They might can't make good music, but they're characters. Mm. Yeah, they get on TV and you know, so you, it you, just don't match. It just, that's what it is. So we gonna move to a, a segment, another part of the show, man. And uh, this we gonna call it "What Would ESG Do?" Or what does ESG think? Uh, it's a situation going on with Boosie and Rilo. That's who wrong and who right, in your opinion, in their situation? Man, I, that part, I can't say who wrong, who right. Just looking at both sides from the I, neck. I'm saying I can't say who wrong, who right, but this one thing. When you put a in real street, you know one thing. When you put a you try to put a snitch jacket on, I ain't going to let you make it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to uh, go respond by that kind of R.P. Nipsey. You feel what I'm saying? When, you know, it's You play by a certain kind of code. That's like. You trying to hinder me from eating. You trying to stop my me from feeding my family. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, that's 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 a dirty game. You feel what I'm saying? So you know that you know that's that's you feel me? Like you know, it's some it's some shit out there. Like when you look at the six nine, for example, nine 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 man beat him up, put his girl. Da, 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 da. So you know they, that that was their way of trying to justify that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, 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 the game just, like, like, you have to, you Make just sure got to be solid. In the game, yeah. You got to be solid in a certain way. You can't be a crash dummy. Well, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just got to be solid. It's just, you know, it's just fucked up to see partners going through that, man. Hell we yeah. got one last thing before we go. We about to have to wrap this thing up. I got a, I got a, I got a question for you, man. You say you the freestyle guard right now, right? Right. Flip say he the freestyle king. Now, I told me. I wasn't going to say his name in his interview, but I think we need to do something for the public and we need to do something now. Are you willing to accept a versus a freestyle battle with Flip Arachi, a.k.a. Lil Flip, to see who the damn freestyle king and let us see in 2024, right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. you versus him? Man. What you think? Freestyle, it ain't a walk. It ain't a be. Yes or no, Mr. Sage? See, you know. Will you be. take the battle? Are you I taking the fight? Around. I wrap circles around. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's freestyle. You feel me? Like when you come, and then if okay. you want to go hits, we can go hits. 
Are you are are you taking the fight, sir? Yeah, I'm taking the fight. Yeah, okay. Fight. I want. Y'all be continued. I want. I want. I want. Stay tuned. I want one against four or five of those though. Get all y'all in that. No, it's gonna be you and Flip. No, I want. It's going to get him some help. Stay tuned. It's hey. going down. And then he must pay more for the wages of the meat because. Uh, we'll get it settled. Then. I don't need it. He do. See, say what they want to say. This gonna be good. This this gonna be good. Look, they can't see, Watch this. Watch this. If 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 you can say this, this how, uh -huh. how hard you know you'll be. Pause. I say I say a line. Right. Man, I'm coming down and on the road through the slab back in bed one time, and I'm still getting cash. And I'm, now you must rhyme with what I said. Uh oh. That's you gotta touch the thigh. Hey, then we if gonna they figure don't, it out, man. Then I go, I ain't gonna never fall off. We gonna figure it out, man. Y'all yeah, stay tuned. Next week, I'm it's going it. down. I'm making, man. I'm making put his braids up. It's more it's ESG it. and Mike D, man. <laughs> Having <laughs> fun in the sun. It's gonna get big in this. Shout gonna out, big and man. Shout, hey man, I ain't gonna lie. This boy five is the MVP, man. Y'all got five fucked up. Five is the we MVP, made it. man. We made it. Fire the MVP, man. I ain't gonna lie, this hey, Miss Megan too, though. Yes, she, she is, she but she, MVP. yeah, she, she, she a mental, she a mental MVP. This physical MVP. No this is why I like reverse slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, cut boss. Cause you didn't come, you gonna be sick. You gonna be mad. You got your address. Be crying. And didn't come. I don't wanna hear you, man. And bring my ten dollars for that hamburger. Yeah. yeah, we out of here. Love y'all, baby. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed the show, man. Come back next week. It's beautiful ladies. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So sweet. We out of here, man. Next week. Song.